American trains, particularly freight trains, are often perceived as excessively long compared to those in other parts of the world. This perception stems from a combination of historical, economic, geographic, and infrastructural factors unique to the United States. While the length of these trains, sometimes exceeding two miles, may seem impractical or inefficient to outsiders, it reflects a deliberate design tailored to America's vast landscape and industrial demands. One primary reason for the length of American trains is the country's sheer size and geography. The United States spans over 3,000 miles from coast to coast, with sprawling rural areas and major industrial hubs often separated by vast distances. Unlike Europe or Japan, where dense populations and shorter distances favor smaller, more frequent trains, the U.S. relies on long freight trains to move massive quantities of goods, like coal, grain, or consumer products, across its expansive terrain. A single long train can replace dozens of smaller ones, reducing the need for frequent trips and maximizing the use of existing rail infrastructure. Economics plays a significant role as well. The U.S. freight rail system is predominantly privately owned, operated by companies like Union Pacific, BNSF, and CSX. These corporations prioritize cost efficiency, and longer trains allow them to haul more cargo with fewer locomotives, crew members, and fuel stops. This practice, known as Precision Scheduled Railroading, PSR, has become a cornerstone of modern American rail operations. By consolidating shipments into fewer, longer trains, companies cut operational costs and boost profitability, a critical consideration in a competitive market where rail competes with trucking and shipping industries. The design of American rail infrastructure also supports longer trains. Unlike many countries with electrified tracks or tightly curved routes, U.S. railroads were built with heavy freight in mind, featuring long straight tracks and wide clearances. This allows trains with hundreds of cars to navigate without the technical limitations that shorter trains face elsewhere. Additionally, the U.S. has fewer passenger trains sharing the tracks, as Amtrak services are limited compared to freight volume. This freight-first approach means tracks are optimized for lengthy, slow-moving cargo haulers rather than shorter, faster passenger trains. In conclusion, American trains are long because they suit the nation's scale, economic priorities, and infrastructure. Yet, their length reflects a trade-off. Efficiency for rail companies versus safety, convenience, and sustainability for society. Whether they are too long depends on perspective. Profit-driven operators see them as a triumph of logistics, while critics argue they overdo a system in need of modernization.